It's one of our most important institutions, the Aboriginal Tent Embassy in Canberra. But how does a protest site created in the 70s stay relevant? That's the problem elders at the embassy are now grappling with. Political reporter Miles Morgan has the story. It's nearly 44 years old, but still growing up. There are new rules at the tent embassy on the lawns of old Parliament House and a new outlook. The embassy needs to go from a protest site into a self-governance, begin to self-govern and get those men's and women's business, which are the real engine rooms of our custodial laws, kicking in. Uncle Dennis Walker has a long history of activism with many organisations. He helped create the Australian arm of the Black Panther Party around the same time this embassy was created. He says there's room on these lawns to build and attract the next generation. It's not very complicated. Resources to get that tent set up over there for the men's business and leave this one for the women's business and start taking care of business on a national, and national regional and local scale. The embassy is also planning a summit for next month, which will be attended by First Nations from all over Australia. We want them to come in here, feel free, enjoy it, have a week of total discussion. Call it a corroboree if it has to be, because that's how we used to do it in the old ways. The summit will coincide with a Canberra court case Dennis Walker will appear as a witness in. It's a minor traffic matter, but it has mentioned a High Court case he was involved in, where his sovereignty wasn't recognised. The Embassy gathering will aim to train young Aboriginal people to push for their own sovereignty. Solid cultural training processes in order to reach our young kids, which is our future, to get them out of the dilemma of today's society. Then the next issue that we will be looking for is a treaty a solid treaty written on solid bases. Miles Morgan, NITV News.